Stay tantalized. Stay tantalized, Ruddy. Tantalize. Stay tantalizing. 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 What? Oh. What is up, everybody? It's me, your girl, the producer, Kara, back again, starting off the show because Tina and Tony is not here right now. I didn't even check the levels. Do I sound fine? Hello? Mike? Hello? Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Let me turn this. Can I? I'm going to turn the light down. That was not a booger, I swear. It was my nose cuff. See? And we have a missing spot. Does that look better? I don't know. Hello, everyone. I'm not picking my nose. I'm putting my nose cuff back in. You gotta tell, you gotta, you gotta make sure everybody knows because people will go insane. If they think you're picking your nose. Like, oh my gosh, it's so gross. Anyway, hello everybody. I'm here for SmackDown. Taylor Tony is not here right now. He's actually feeling quite under the weather right now. Everybody knows he hasn't been feeling too good. His knee's been messed up since WrestleMania weekend. So, yeah, he's going through it. I'm not getting it pierced, love. That is scary. I feel like it hurts, obviously. And I don't think I would be able to take care of it properly i feel like it'd get infected so i'm gonna stick with the cuffs anyway yeah tantalizing tony he's going through it let's think about him okay keep him in our prayers okay because he's... hello humble i'm not doing roll call yet so yeah tantalizing... I'm, I'm sorry i keep bouncing around he's not gonna be here tonight but it's okay it's okay it's not okay but it's okay if you guys want to send prayers and super chats, I need to take that off. Okay. Um, yeah, greatly appreciated. Obviously, there's a lot of different shows coming up. Is there like tell him to feel better? Thank you, James. Thank you, Humble. Hello, Rutter. Uh yeah, um, there's a lot of different shows coming up. Obviously, the next show is Backlash, which is May 4th. And then we have some shows like in our area coming up. Tomorrow we'll be at BPW. Is it BPW? Yeah, we'll be at BPW. I, I was I was confused because they're not at their normal location so i don't i couldn't remember if it was bpw if it was something else but it's bpw i'll show that later because i forgot to get that slide up monday i have a major announcement okay richie okay i'm excited don't flake do not flake on monday because i remember jakey bakey said he had on he had an announcement one time and then he didn't he said nothing he left he was like i have an announcement and left so Let's see. Monday. I'll be waiting. <coughs> I still have the cough, guys. All the way from WrestleMania weekend, I still have the cough. That's only because I didn't take any medicine. I feel like, no. Because I really don't feel like medicine does anything, honestly. Like, cough medicine, I am still sick the same amount of days that I, if I took the medicine, than if I didn't take the medicine. In my eyes. I don't know. But whatever. Um, Let's go through what's happening tonight on SmackDown. Did I mention that we're here for SmackDown? Also, I need to change this overlay. I need to put Cody on here because obviously he's a new champ. I need to take that deadbeat dad off of there. And who else? I feel like that's it. All right. So we are starting off by talking about the fatal four-way. There is a ta fatal four way. It was a tag team fatal four way. I think that's how you say it. AOP versus New Catch Republic versus Legato. They're in Legato, right? 
Legado del Fantasma versus Street Profits. Now, this is where the Smith is. So, this is for um, Great A Town Down Under. Okay. And we'll see if they get new titles tonight. They probably are. Hopefully, they will. Because on Monday, Awesome Truth got new titles. So, it would only make sense for the SmackDown Tag Team Champions to get new titles. So, they're pro- I don't know if they're going to do like a different design. Or if it's going to be the same design as Raw, but like a different color or something. I don't know. I'm very interested. Tantalas and Tony said that since the Raw Tag Team Championships look like the world titles, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship is going to look like the Undisputed titles. So we'll see. We'll see tonight. But yes, these are the... Whoever wins this match goes against... A town down under. I'm assuming at Backlash. I think they're building their Backlash card. I don't know. Um, next, we have AJ Styles versus LA Knight. Yeah. We've seen this match at WrestleMania. I actually don't even remember watching this match. I think that's because I was, because every show that I go to, I cannot remember the card. Like, I've been to five WrestleMania cards. WrestleManias, and I cannot remember what happened in like any of them, except for this most recent one. I remember like the big moments, obviously, but yeah, it goes through one ear out the other. Um, but yes, I think who won at WrestleMania? Who won at WrestleMania? LA Knight won. So I don't know. I want LA Knight to win. Because I feel like LA Knight versus Cody Rhodes would be super cool. I'm not really feeling AJ Styles lately. I don't know. But they're probably going to have AJ Styles win because uh, he lost at WrestleMania. And Tim and Tony said that this is like his last run. I think that's what he said. I don't know. I don't think it, I don't know if he said that. But I don't think it's his last run. He's not that old. But they... I don't know if it was USA Network or WWE. It doesn't really matter. But they put up a poll asking the fans who they think would win this match and majority majority said la night now i don't know if that's still the case but let me see um wwe it might have been usa network i mean not usa why would usa post it wwe let's see why isn't it working Fast forward, fast forward. Okay, 62% said LA Knight was going to win. Anywho, I don't know. I want LA Knight to win too, but I just feel like AJ's got to win. I don't know. We will see. Then we have Naomi going against your new women's champion, Bailey. I know that there is ecstatic is that the word they're very happy that this match is going on because if you guys know y'all know that bailey and naomi are very good friends bailey naomi and mercedes monet very great friends so i can only imagine how happy they are having this match on smackdown for the title this this obviously naomi is not going to win it tonight but this this match alone would just is just going to be very fun to watch and then we have the bloodline. What's going on with the bloodline? Tomatonga came. He made his debut. Or was he in WWE before? I don't know. But he made his debut last week. And um, Solo Sokoa, it, they're making it seem like Solo Sokoa is the new tribal chief. And they turned on Jimmy. So now Jimmy is no longer in the bloodline, I'm assuming. And. Jay was asked about how he felt about Jimmy being turned on. And he basically was like, I tried to warn him. I'm going to focus on myself. But I feel like like they're twins. Like he has to take him back, you know? So I feel like we're getting the Usos back pretty soon, if not tonight. 
And then Solo Sokoa is running things. He's calling the shots. Paul Heyman is not in the loop at all. He's very confused. But I feel like Solo, I've been saying this forever, Solo has been the key to the Bloodline's downfall, okay? He knows all their secrets. He knows all their moves. He knows all their plans. And now that Roman has lost the title, he's like, it's time for me to take over. I don't think Roman is going to be on TV anytime soon, hopefully. I want him to be, obviously. But they said that he's not going to be on TV, but he's very present in the storyline like he's like very involved in the making of the storyline if that makes sense like he's involved in making the storyline i just said that um but yeah i'm very excited to see what's happening with the bloodline and we'll say it's 7 57 we have three minutes everybody turn to fox while i do a roll call and read your comments because if i don't do i'm gonna forget something if i don't do what i need to do first sorry hello everbless hello keith ricky my wonderful sister jasmine hello humble grace james gianna forever aka richie dion xavier uh, jasmine He's not the champ anymore. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Mick. Hello, Mick. Hello, Stephen Chambers. Dahlia. I was about to say my wonderful sister, Dahlia. <laughs> hello, Dahlia. I'm feeling okay. Okay, y'all. Okay, let me finish roll call, and then let me talk about Rhea with the time that we have left. Um, hello, Stephanie. Miss Stephanie. It's Mrs. Swo now. Um, Joseph. Hello, Joseph. That is a new name. If you are actually new, I hope you stay like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm not Tan Loves and Tony, but guys, I'm the producer, Kara. Guys, I don't have to say we're on the road to 10K anymore. Now I say we're on the road to 100K. That's insane that we hit 10,000, actually. It's insane. And do what Jasmine says and hit the likes yes i heard jasmine sent me um they said that rollins fought both nights of wrestlemania with the torn meniscus that man should have taken a break when he was feuding with shinsuke nakamura and talking about my back my back he should have took a break back then i don't know why he stuck it out for this long like go take a nap or something You've done you've done what you needed to do with the title. You've been the workhorse champion. And now it's time for you to go. Take a break and then come back, you know? Damien. Damien is Damien's got this. All right. Kick rocks. Hello, Max. Max Frost. How are you doing today? I'm doing quite fine. Now, when I say I'm doing quite fine, I'm not actually doing quite fine. It's 8 o'clock. Y'all turn to Fox. We're watching SmackDown tonight. Um, so, Mommy Rhea, as you guys know, had to vacate her title. And it's very sad. And I don't think I'm going to be able to not talk about it for these, the amount of time that she's going to be out. She's going to be out for like four, I'm, I'm saying four months. Everyone's saying three months, but I'm going to, I'm going to say four, you know, just to not get my hopes up. And then, um, and then she's coming back to take the title. But on Monday, they're going to, I don't know if they're crowning a new, like if they're fighting for, I don't know what they're doing, but they said they're going to start, for, I don't know. The, the, there's going to be a champion in Rhea's absence. Okay. But she has been posting on Instagram daily, which I'm very appreciative for. I, I, if she didn't post, if she didn't post while she was out, I would feel like there's a piece of my life missing. Like there's a piece of my heart missing, you know, Rhea is such a big part of my life now. And if she like cut off all, communication or like cut off all I don't know if she cut us off completely during this three to four month break I would feel absolutely terrible hello Nick Rhea's gonna like huh Rhea's gone like the wind but that comeback's gonna be insane yes I agree I very much agree hello Jake 
How is everybody? All right. That is my consensus of the night. Up first, L.A. Night. Yeah. So I don't know if this is their new stage or if this is because they're selling out everywhere they go. But they made their stage very small. And it started, it all started in Chicago, I think. I don't know. But they started making the stage small because they were opening more seats to people because they kept selling out. But now this is like their new stage, I guess. But now I can't tell if it's just their new stage or if they're like sold out or if they're just like sold out every show. I feel like this is. I'm live on the show. What's up? It's me and brother. And we have a big smackdown. Okay. Please close the door. I love you. Um, I didn't tell him to do that. That was her. I told him to close the door, though. He didn't do that. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Darn too. Yeah, he's he's gone. He comes in and he leaves. Tantalize and Tony. Sorry. Tantalize and Tony is out today. He is hurt, y'all. If y'all didn't know, WrestleMania weekend, his knee... Here comes Ellie Knight. Ellie Knight looks scary. His knee got messed up. I don't know exactly what. I don't know exactly what's going on. Um, because he sucks at communicating. But I do know his knee is killing him right now. And it's hard to walk. It's hard to move around. And all, so he's just. He took the day off today. Everyone is looking for, I don't want to get my hopes up for, for SummerSlam because I know she's on the poster, but she was on the poster before she announced that she was hurt. But the time frame that they said she would be out for lines up with when SummerSlam is. Like when the time frame that they gave us, they said four to six weeks and then three months to recover, I think. I don't know. I don't know what they said, actually. Yeah. But yeah. But that lines up like meets up with like SummerSlam I feel like so I don't know but if she doesn't come at SummerSlam then I'm gonna be highly disappointed so I'm not I'm not saying any I'm not looking forward to SummerSlam like oh my gosh that's her big return so we'll see lol he knows he's getting old <laughs> I remind him every day all right, tonight we're going to get the first match. Anymore? Still? We'll get whoever wins this match. Um, what if they? What if it's a triple threat? I don't know. They love doing triple threats. I miss Rhea too. Monday is going to be very, 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 very hard, and it's it's different from when she's like because when she took a break, when she took like um. I don't know what she took. A, uh, she got engaged or something like that. Um, she took a break and then. Um, and, and, and I was fine. It was like a week or two. But this is different because we know that she's not going to be coming back. And like next week or anything like we know, like the time frame kind of. So it's we know it's going to be a, a, quite a while. So. um yeah, I feel like it's worse um, watching Raw and her not being there because we know that she's not going to show up. She's not going to be like surprised, you know. So <sighs> I'm just, and it's three hours, and I have to see my Judgment Day function without Rhea. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. AJ Styles is getting his head slammed into the announce table right now. By the yeah master himself. L.A. Knight is on a roll. Hello, Brian. Hello, Mir. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Clay. 
Hello, Jeff. My name's Jeff. <laughs> LOL, thank you. L A night. Yeah. Did you guys see? So you guys know that kid. Well, he's not a kid. But you know, you guys know that guy Baker or Baker Banter or his name is Derek. But I think his TikTok is like Baker Banter or Banter Baker or something like that. And he like meets all the superstars and everything. And he met LA Knight on his birthday, I guess, WrestleMania weekend or some around that time, I guess. I don't know. But LA Knight is like was like so nice. Like, I don't know if it's just because um just because he was on camera or if it was because it was Derek, but he just seemed like such a sweet, sweet person. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go. Uh, yeah, his 27th birthday. You know what I'm talking about, Nick. Yeah, it it was so nice. It was so nice to see. It was it was like a breath of fresh air to see a celebrity that's like actually a good person. <laughs> No, no, Dahlia, stop it. Stop it. I don't want to hear about it. That's actually sad. Like, I like other women in the women in the WWE, obviously. Like, I wouldn't I would be happy, like, if Zelina won it, I'd be so happy. If um oh, wait, Zelina's on SmackDown. If I don't know who's on Raw, but if anyone but Liv Morgan won it, I feel like I'd be happy. Liv Morgan or Nia, okay, I like Nia Jax, but she, she's she been beating up, beating up on my mommy lately, so I don't know how it'd feel if she won the title, but I would be happy for whoever got the title, but I'd feel bad for them because I wouldn't count it as a legitimate run. I would count it as whoever wins that title is keeping it warm for mommy. For when she comes back because the second she's come back she comes back she's taking her title back easy as that no question about it you know so i just want whoever is getting that title next to know that okay thank you my uncle met him at the airport and he was the only one that recognized him and he was very sweet oh that is so nice that is so nice that wrestling girl hello that wrestling girl you sound that that name sounds pretty new. If you guys, if any of y'all are new in this chat and you haven't subscribed yet, now is your time. Okay. We're on commercial break. We just hit 10K, which is insane. Seeing that number, we're in the five digits, guys. We're in the five digit numbers. We're in the big leagues. Well, this isn't the big leagues. Six digit numbers is the big leagues. Seven digit numbers. Whoa whoa we're at the tippy top but yeah richie are you doing this on purpose are you doing this on purpose if you guys don't know i'm a diehard rhea ripley fan i'm a diehard demi bennett fan okay i love that woman all right and i was i literally tears ran down my face when i saw her vacate that title everyone knew she was vacating it but it was the act of her doing it. I literally cried. So stop it. Stop talking about it, please. Yeah, that title. Oh, yeah. Hello. I love that woman. Official shy shy. You are new. I'm glad that you're announcing yourself. If you're new. Yeah, I see you're on Twitch right now. I want you to hop over to YouTube. It's the same name, the Tana Lesson Tony Wrestling Show. And watch over there, hit the likes, and hit the subscribe. Because this is a pretty awesome channel. We just hit 10K. You probably heard me say that. But um, I'm not Tana Lesson Tony, though. I'm his user slash daughter, okay? And I'm taking over right now because he's not feeling too well. So... If you are new here and you would like to see Tana Laz and Tony, we go live Mondays and Fridays and days in between whenever we want to. And it's a it's a fun channel. It's a really cool channel. So subscribe and become a member of the nation of Tanalization. Okay? Okay. Thank you. 
The Adore Studios, same thing. Same thing what I just said, because that looks like a new name. Tiffany would low-key be a fresh option. I could see Tiffany winning it. But I don't know. Okay, this is weird, though, because the draft is coming up. So whoever they crown as champion, whoever becomes champion, what if they get, like, they're going to have to do the swap titles again thing? Like, or are they just going to keep them on a, I don't know. We'll see. All right, we're back live. Just WrestleMania part two. Long live Judgment Day. Your dad and y'all were very entertaining during the wait getting into WWE World Day One. Well, thank you very much. I mean, I was just the one holding the camera, but I'm sure Tin Laz and Tony was very entertaining. I'm glad you uh, came around and stopped by at the YouTube channel. And I hope you do subscribe because he's like that. My mic is cutting it out. Hello? Is that better? Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Stand by. Stand by. Trying to check my levels. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. I'm trying to listen. It's every once in a while, but that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, thank you, that wrestling girl. You are awesome. Hello, Maribel. Thank you. Thank you. That was a crooked heart. <laughs> all right. Let me actually pay attention to this match. Do we see any Uncle Howdy slash Alexa Bliss uh, clues tonight? AJ Styles gets thrown, gets rammed into the corner. Come on, AJ with the roll up. Ooh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> oh, Insiguri from AJ Styles. I feel like that. At who? How can that's such a hard? I'm. I'd be scared to do that. Is he going for the phenomenal forearm? Nope, he misses it. LA Knight with the power slam. Elbow drop. Come on, come on. Stop, stop. Come Get the job done, LA. Why are you walking in a circle? <coughs> oh, BFT. That's I was trying to figure out. I forgot what his finisher was, honestly. Oh, AJ Styles ran out of there quick. He's not getting caught caught with a BFT. Blunt force trauma. Phenomenal forearm. He hit it. Is it over? One, two. Oh, AJ wins. AJ versus Cody Rhodes at Backlash in May. Let's go. I, I feel like everyone... I, I mean, LA Knight won at WrestleMania. You had to give it to him. Um, you had to give it to AJ. Oh, he raped, he poked the eyes. AJ poked LA's eyes out. That's why. You cheater. You can't do that. Okay. Do what you got to do. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this backlash graphic. Looks weird. Mm. Lay on fronts. No, Cody wrote his first challenger was Dominic Mysterio. His first challenger as, as champion was Dominic Mysterio in a dark match. Dominic gets all the good matches. He got CM Punk. He got CM Punk's first match at a house show. He got um, 
Randy Orton's first match back at a house show, or was it a dark match? I can't remember. Like he's get he gets all the good matches. Oh, we're getting to the bloodline already. Let's go. Mm. AJ fought. Yes, I have been informed of that fact last week. I think that's crazy. <sighs> the bloodline has been shaken up. <laughs> There's a broom, broom closet down the hall. Solo is the new tribal chief. I'm telling y'all, it's going to be Solo's team. Tana Lazzoni totally think it's going to be Rock's team versus Roman's team. I don't know if the Rock's going to have anything to do. I'm I'm th I'm thinking about Survivor Series, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm way ahead. Matters. Losing and winning matters. Like, come on. So Solo is going to be acting like the new tribal chief. And Paul Heyman, obviously, is going to be running to, to Roman, being like, um, did you approve this? What is going on here? And Solo's like, I don't need his approval. I'm the new tribal chief around here. At first, I thought, when Tama Tonga came out, at first, I thought it was Jay. I was like, oh, my gosh, she's showing it. What? Solo Samoan spiked Jimmy. But honestly, what did Jimmy do? Why did he have to kick Jimmy out? You failed to help Roman Reign as well. This is not what the trial chief wanted. Yes, I saw. This is going to be her first house show. All right, rolling up. Solo Sokoa. Oh, my gosh. Solo. Solo is looking dapper. He, y'all, y'all. Nice threads. Oh, Tamatanka. What does that mean? MFT? What does that mean? Guys, Solo, he has taken over. He's talking, guys. He's calling the shots, guys. He said, is Kevin Owens here? Why are you making him repeat himself? Take me to him. Oh, is listening to Solo. This is amazing. Oh, are we gonna? Oh, I thought we were gonna follow them backstage. Husband, that'd be so cool, guys. I this is like so different, but I feel like we all knew this was gonna happen, guys. Solo Sokoa rolls up to the stadium, to the arena, in a beautiful SUV. I'm I'm not into cars. I don't know what kind of car it was. Beautiful SUV, the kind of car that Roman would come up to. I'm mean, come up in. Okay. And he's looking dressed to the nines. Well, not to the nines, but he's dressed up, okay? He's looking looking like a boss, all right? And he's he's got he's got a newfound like confidence, like like a swagger to him, you know, like like a like boss energy, you know? And then Tamatanka comes and he's looking dressed. Okay, he's looking dapper as well. And then Paul Heyman is in there. He's like, he's confused. He's like, who, who do you guys think you are? I mean, he's terrified of them. So obviously he's going to listen to them. But Solo has taken over. And I've been saying this. I've been saying this since he got there. That Solo Sokoa, he, he is the one. He's been sitting back. He's been being quiet. He's been quiet. He's been listening to everything that the bloodline has to say. He knows all of their secrets, guys. He knows all of their plans. He knows the bloodline inside and out. So when it came time for him to step up and take over, he took that opportunity and he ran with it.
As soon as Roman lost the title, that man started planning his his reign over the blood. Like he's 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 the new leader. I don't know if he consulted this, if he consulted with Roman Reigns. I doubt that he did. But I'm loving it. I'm loving every bit of it. Max, I agree. I'm loving it. I love that he's talking. I love that he has like a new confidence. He's got the little smirk on his face. Like he's literally, but I feel like the difference between him and Roman Reigns is Roman Reigns was fighting like demons in his mind. Like he was like, like he would make the hard decisions, but before he made the hard decision, you could see him like thinking about going the right way. And then he snaps back into like that tribal chief mood, that vicious character. Whereas Solo Sokoa, I feel like he's like ruthless. Like he couldn't care less. Obviously, he hugged Jimmy before he turned on him. But that's more of like, you're my family. I love you. I respect you. But I got to do what I got to do. There was no doubt in his mind that he was going to turn on Jimmy. Roman Reigns. He goes back and forth in his mind. Solo is going to be lethal. Solo and Tamatanga, they got to get more people in there. Who else are they going to get in there? Jacob? I can see Jacob joining. <gasps> Jacob is a scary dude, y'all. Jacob Fatu? Everybody's saying he signed with WWE. I could see Jacob Fatu, but they might start him in NXT. I don't know. But I could see Jacob Fatu. Freaking... Joining the Solo Sokoa Tamatanga group that they have going on. Like, he has that same vibe that they're exuding right now. Y'all. Guys, they sold out every show in the UK. They're doing their European tour right now. And they sold out every show. Three shows in a row. Wow. Four shows. Anyway, yeah, Solo Sokoa, Zilla, honestly, I don't think Zilla, I don't think Zilla is going to be in WWE. I feel like he has, he, he has the drive, obviously, and he could fit in this group too, but I feel like um, he just started getting into it. Um, I've been following Zilla um, as well. I personally don't think he's ready yet like I don't think he has like the WWE mentality you know what I'm trying to say but I love the man he's awesome okay all of the Samoans like I'm I wouldn't say I'm very familiar with the Samoans like who am I like I'm not very familiar with Samoans but I I I, I follow them um and their careers and I feel like any one of them can make it in WWE like every one of them can make If he does show up, that's what Solo Soko is building right now. But we'll see. Okay. Nick Aldis is out there. He just called out Triple H. We're getting new SmackDown titles, y'all. New SmackDown tag titles. I'm excited. Since they're doing this big reveal, I don't think it's going to be the same design as Raw. If they're doing a big reveal like this. Because if they do the this, if they do all this and it's just the same title, just like a different color, that'd be so lame. I think it's gonna be a different design. Okay, let's see. Triple H must be feeling pretty darn good. He's selling out show after show after show after show. This is like their freaking 25th show. Sold out. And overseas, that that kid, that guy is so. Oh, I love Triple H. I would love to meet Triple H. I'd love to like sit. Th oh, there's there's the there's the there's the QR code. There's the Uncle Howdy. Somebody scan the QR code, please. Yeah, I saw it. Can somebody scan it? Because I'm not going back. I can't. I I don't. I'm already behind some of y'all. So. If I rewind, I'm going to be behind even more. 
So if you guys um, got that QR code, just put it in the chat what it was, please. That'd be greatly appreciated. I think Tan Lost and Tony was right. The top of the belts are straight. I think it's gonna look like the it's gonna look like the undisputed title. It's not a circle like the um like the raw ones. The top of the belt is straight. All right, trips, Mr. Paul. Triple H. Get a town down under out here. Era. Yeah, they this WrestleMania was actually financially statistically the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Welcome to SmackDown. Thank y'all. 15,000 people there in Pittsburgh, y'all. Insane. These JMs are doing great. I love Nick Aldis and Adam Pierce, and I love their relationship. Adam Pierce and Nick Aldis. Did I say that? Triple H, I love you, but you lost me. I'm confused. Bring our champions out here. Are they changing the name? He didn't say SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Oh, they did not change the name. A Town Down Under. A Town Down. A Town Down. A Town Down. I like Grayson Waller's theme song, though. They need to mash it up or something. I feel like they're going to be good champs, though. Like, they're going to be the annoying, but, like, entertaining. <laughs> I'm excited to see what they do with the titles. <laughs> I love them. But, um, Theory, I'm going to need you to tell your boy to stop wearing those skinny jeans. I said Theory, not Siri. Um, I'm going to need you to tell your boy to stop wearing those skinny jeans. They're cutting off his circulation, I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> His jeans are so tight. The second place championships. <laughs> now tonight, you both have the honor. The real winners of WrestleMania. Are you town down under? Down under. I'm trying to work on my Australian. I don't it's not going very well. <clears throat> I forgot Triple H is a magician. You guys do not look all that crazy. I mean all that great. You look cringy, first of all. Okay. The outfits, at least. He is now the WWE Tag Team Champions. Oh! Oh! Those are the old ones! Oh! <gasps> Wow. Those are like the old ones. 
Oh, they shook each other's hands. How dare you? That is your boss. That is Triple H. A clown down under. <laughs> Those are like, do we have? Hold on. I'm going to get the titles that they look like. Hold on. Right now. Fatal four way match. Show the titles again. They gave us like one second. They're not going to show the titles again. Those titles, hold on. Those titles look like the WC. Is that... No, those are the old ones. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Street Profits are coming out right now. Show the titles again, please, guys, please. Our brand is wet like nobody can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, they took the titles. Hold on, let me upload this short real quick. All right, so hold on, hold on. I'm uploading a short. It's like 30 seconds, so uh, we shouldn't get flagged. Okay. So those are not the old ones, but they give the old vibe, if that makes sense. I wish they would. Show us more. That's crazy. Huh? We're in a new era, guys. We're in a new era. This is insane. Wow. This is absolutely insane. Okay. We're going to add a sound. We're going to add Awesome Theory song because why not? Or should we add? Or should we add Triple H's song? Okay. A town. Down. Hold on, guys. I'm so sorry. I love you all. Um, Is the chat broken? Why is nobody saying anything about the new titles? Hello? What do you guys think of the new... They're not the SmackDown... They're, they're the new World Tag Team Champions. New World Tag Team Championships revealed on smackdown hashtag wwe hashtag wwe smackdown hold on hashtag triple h hashtag who else um championship Hashtag, oh, we can't do anymore. Okay, comment, y'all. What do y'all think of the new on SmackDown? The new titles, the new World Tag Team Championships. Okay, let me go with that. Okay, let me show you guys what I like what my brain immediately went to when I saw those titles.
It's heavy. It's heavy. <sighs> this one. These tag titles. Gosh. Doesn't that look like the same as the new ones? These are the w the old the WWF World Tag Team Championships, and they were called World Tag Team Wrestling Champions. So they're bringing like all of the, yeah, very old school. They're bringing like all of the old like vibes back, but like newer, you know. Like they changed the name. My breath. <laughs> They changed the name back to World Tag Team Titles. Did they change the name for Awesome Truths Titles? Or are they still the Rock Tag Team Champions? I don't know. But maybe they're the Undisputed Tag Team Champions? I don't know. But this is kind of the vibe I think they were going for when they made the new titles. Let me try to find a um, picture of the new titles. Let's see if anyone has them up already. Just put that there. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I mean, I guess I could just screenshot it from the short that I just put up. Let's see. Go check out the short, guys. Just put it up. Um, shorts. Hmm. I can't, okay, I'm going to get this screenshot, and then I'm going to put it in, I'm going to just crop it up, I don't know. Let's see, I'm trying to get uh, the new titles for you guys. Well, first of all, I didn't even check to see if they have, if they have it online, hold on. Uh. New tag team titles on SmackDown. Let's see. Mm. Hold on. This blurry picture. Come on, y'all. Okay. Let me just make it bigger. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so these kind of do it justice. I don't know. So those are the new tag team titles. They have the crown at the top. And they obviously put the WWE logo in there. World Tag Team Champions, so it's not SmackDown Champions anymore. Um, Hello, Scott. I like this. I usually don't like their old school designs, like when they go back to like the um, old school designs, but I actually like this. I think they took a nice modern spin. They did a nice modern spin on the um, old WWF World Tag titles. So good for them. They did the darn thing. It is very old school. My customs divas title. Oh, I'm standing in front of it. It just says my name and it has a purple strap because Judgment Day. Thank you to Mr. Ruda, guys. If you guys want custom titles, I can point out a bunch of titles on these shelves that are from Mr. Ruda, Ruda Entertainment. Ruda.entertainment on Instagram, guys. Go check him out. He is awesome. He does the most amazing customs. Um, yeah, he is the goat when it comes to custom titles. But yeah, I love it. I love it. Look at Grayson Waller and 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 what's his name? Grayson uh, Austin Theory with their new titles. Thank you, Dahlia. You're awesome sauce. Here comes AOP. Karen Cross looks different. Maybe it's because his hair is slicked back and dry. Did he? I don't know. Oh. 
know. I need a cold drink. I need to call Mikey. What a smackdown it's been so far. What a smackdown it's been. Mm. He said, I hope AOP loses. I don't want to fight those guys. Who do I think is going to... Uh, amazing question, guys. No, I'm kidding. Um, I would love to see Street Profits, honestly. I would love to see Street Profits win this. Bad news. Get it? Bad news, Barrett. Okay, wrestling skills coming through. Tyler Bate and, and, and Montez Ford starting off the match. Why did you start counting so late, Jess? Jessica? Double drop kick? They both missed and a double kip up? Did they both miss? On yeah. Oh. Garza, who's, well, this guy tagged himself in. I don't know which one this is. It's not Garza. Umberto. Wow. Get him out of there. Thank you, Dahlia. You are awesome sauce. Angelo, okay, guys, fatal four way tag team matches confuse me to no end. Like, I never know who's legal. You could tag anybody in, even if it's not your partner. Like, I, my brain is working at a different pace. <laughs> Eight down, down under, do not want to go against AOP. They made that very clear. Very clear. Anyway, and I'm liking the SmackDown so far. I'm not going to lie. I um looked at the Fightful plans, and it looked like a, a, like a short card. So I thought it was going to be like boring, like they're going to stretch everything out. But, um... Well, oh. but I'm I'm very interested. Also, the women's world title match is the main event. Naomi versus Bailey is the main event of tonight's show. Good on them. Good on them. Very excited to see that match. Actually, thank you, Max. It is the one and only Judgment Day. It's hard to catch me on this show without any kind of Judgment Day merch. So, it's mostly Rhea Ripley. Guys, Rhea Ripley. I love her. She's been posting, like, pictures of um, her and her dogs. And the pictures of her dogs make me sad because if you guys don't know, I had to. My, well, I used to have dogs and now I don't. Let's just leave it at that. But every time I see a dog, it makes me want to cry. But, um... She's been posting a lot of pictures of her and her dogs in her new home, and it just makes me feel included and involved. And, and involved in her life, and I'm very glad that she decided to take us on this journey with her. So, Rhea, if you're watching, I love you. But, uh, 
I don't know how I started talking about Rhea. <laughs> Just from you ask, saying nice shirt. I can turn any conversation into a conversation about her. You guys don't understand the chokehold this woman has on my life. Okay? On my everyday life. She is sleeping. And I'm live. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. All right, we are back live. Fatal four way contendership match. Or, or is it called a contendership match? Is that even a word? Contendership? <laughs> a town down under on commentary is just mm, hilarious. Hilarious to say the least. If y'all don't get Montez out of that ring, AOP is just killing him. My gosh. I feel like this is harder, like the fatal four way, because there's a person in every corner. So you can't really go in a corner unless it's your own without someone possibly tagging in like but it's easier for the person who's getting attacked like Montez Ford he could go to any corner and like get tagged out you know New Catch Republic taking on AOP here comes Legado del Fantasma oh never mind I can't really call this match first of all because there's a lot of people second of all because I don't know everybody's name and third of all because it's moving so freaking fast How? How Tyler Bate is wrestling with no shin guards, no knee pads, no elbow pads is just beyond me. Man, they're trying to take AOP out for good. Jeez, and crackers. Oh, oh, four people lifting up this guy from AOP. Oh, what? Tyler Bates got him alone. Oh, my gosh. He's spinning him. Oh my goodness, the strength of that little pint sized man is insane. Like, God, all the Phantasma ruining it. You party poopers. Oh my gosh, everybody is piling up in one corner. Who was going to take them all down? Oh my gosh. Okay, Street Profits and Butch or Pete Dunn. Okay. Oh my gosh, what the heck is happening? Tyler Bate is getting thrown into the group of guys from the top rope by Legado de Fantasma. Drop super drop kick from the top rope onto to oh my gosh, onto Tyler Bate, Pete Dunn with the save. My gosh, what a mouthful! Is is this content like is this whoever wins this match and goes against a ton down under is it out backlash or is it just like next week or something? I would assume it's that backlash, right? Wow. Everybody looks a beat. Everybody looks so beat right now. <clears throat> so many people in the shot. What did what did Drake say? What did Drake say? W's in the shot, everybody. <laughs> what did he say? And uh I don't know. If you guys know what I'm referencing, 
Good for you guys. <laughs> A-Town Clown Under. Nick Aldis is amazing. I love him. He, um... He's like... hilarious <laughs> i forgot what i was gonna say it doesn't matter it wasn't that important i'm pretty sure how is everybody liking smackdown how is there 72 people in here and no one is commenting oh because most of them are on twitter everybody who's on x or twitter make your way over to youtube and yeah, that is everybody who's watching on Twitter, go to YouTube and watch it. It's the same video, it's the same show. It's just on YouTube. Which is better because you can like like it and and, and subscribe and, sh and and share and comment. <laughs> That'd be awesome, y'all. Twitter, I mean, was, uh, YouTube is our main platform, y'all. So if you guys are on Twitch or Twitter, make your way over. Make the jump. Yeah, it's probably just a swipe or two away, you know? Swipe up to the home screen. I'm assuming, if so this, this is what I do. Swipe up to the home screen. You got to find YouTube, but that just depends on how your phone is set up. Click on YouTube, and then... Tony Last Tony Wrestling Show. There you have it. Well, there you have it. If you're subscribed, it should pop up. But yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do want to order a drink, though. Order a drink. Like, I'm at a restaurant. My phone is at 1%. Oh, dear gosh. How am I going to do this? I'm going to see. Okay. There's a portable charger. All right here. Hopefully it's charged. Okay. She's charged. Now I need to find a wire. There's a pile of wires, but I fear none of them fit my phone. You might be in trouble, people. Really? None of them? All these wires and not one of them fit my phone. We're in trouble, guys. My phone's at one. Oh, gosh. Stressing out over here, people. Those titles are gorgeous. And if you weren't here, Richie, I was showing the people that the, gosh, why the heck did they make them so heavy? The new titles look like the old WWF titles, but like gold and like sleeker, I guess. Gosh. <sighs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, we're back live. The Fatal 4-Way for the tag team titles. Everybody is teaming up to take out AOP. Nobody wants AOP to win, not even the champs. But that just means that they're intimidating and everybody is scared of them. That's, I guess that's how they want to be. Why is my phone at 1%? Because I charge it at night and it's 100% when I wake up and then I'm on my phone all day and don't charge it throughout the day. So <laughs> Everybody is catching some punches. We got the fireflies coming out. Ooh. A town down under talk a lot. They better back it up when it comes to the to the nitty gritty, okay? 
Oh my gosh. Angelo Dawkins is like a bull. Ty made to Montez Ford. They're going for the, what do they call this? Blunt Buster? Oh, I thought Tree Profits had it. But here comes freaking Pete Dunn out of nowhere. What the heck? Come on. Come on. Angelo. Sorry, y'all. Angelo Dawkins. Oh, joint manipulation. I was just about to praise Angelo, but here he goes getting his finger snapped. Oh my gosh, Tyler Bay with a super kick. He made the tag. Oh. Hurricane Rana onto the okay. Legato is taken out. <laughs> this match is impossible to call. New Catch Republic is getting tag team on him. Oh, oh! Montez out of nowhere. New Catch Republic with a simultaneous springboard and then Dawkins in the middle from out of nowhere in the middle of the ring taking out AOP I mean Mon did I say Montez or Dawkins I meant Montez sorry guys sorry guys <laughs> one two like, God, all the Phantasma is not winning. Paul Ellering is out here. Oh, my gosh. Kicked him in the gut. <laughs> Whee! Moonsaw on Tyler Bate. Frog Splash on the cover from Montez Ford. Jeez, this match is electric. Angela Dawkins makes the tag. Revelation from Street Profits. Yay! Street Profits win. They're going against A Town Down Under for the titles. Let's go. They need to get those titles. I fear Street Profits need to get those titles. I feel like A Town Down Under would be fun champions, but Street Profits need those titles. Yes, that match was amazing. Like, tag team wrestling is really in its prime. WWE is in its prime, but tag team wrestling is, like, everywhere. Like, they're they're coming up again. Let's go. Don't underestimate the Street Profits A-Town Down Under, okay? Why does every chance he gets, Austin Theory takes his shirt off? You already came with it unbuttoned. Must you take it off? Oh, uh, Rhea Ripley. I don't want to watch it again. I don't want to watch her uh, vacating the title again. That's just going to stab me in the heart. And now I'm not going to stop talking about it anymore. Everybody's going to get sick of me talking about Rhea Ripley. I don't care. I miss that woman already. And it's been like three days. <laughs> Oh, they're showing the attack. Oh, my gosh. Mm. 
No, I my heart is actually dropping to my stomach now. Oh my gosh. No, they're doing a video package. Why are you guys trying to make me cry right now? Oh my gosh. I'm a proud Rhea crybaby, okay? Leave me alone. <sighs> what was the point of showing that? To so just talk to Bailey. Bailey has nothing to do with Rhea. Her hair is purple for Judgment Day, I'm assuming. I'm going to just... I don't know why they would show that. And then they showed the 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 compilation of her moments over the past few months and then Shake it off, Kara. It's okay. She's still alive, okay? Solo Sokoa backstage. Paul Heyman can't find Kevin. Oh, is Solo going to find him himself? Fine, I'll do it myself. What's that from, guys? Oh, no, he's not going to find himself. Is he going to the ring to call him out? <laughs> Paul Heyman is, like, shaking in his boots right now. Paul Heyman is like, Solo, you are not the boss. What are you doing, kid? He is the boss, Paul. Because where's Roman? Hmm? Where's the Romes? Are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> I love Paul Heyman. I love Solo. What is MFT? Who is he spiking? What is happening right now? Oh my gosh. He's going out to the ring. What does MFT mean, guys? Please tell me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm scared. What does Solo have planned? <laughs> I love this. I love everything about this, okay? Solo is taking charge. Solo is the boss right now, okay? Roman couldn't get the job done. Solo comes in swooping. I mean, it came swooping in. What's the phrase? Gosh darn it. I, that, this is why I can't do promos. We know Tomatonga is going to come out of nowhere somewhere. Maybe he calls out Kevin. I don't know. I'm going to stop predicting and just watch the show because this there's no predicting WWE anymore. Like they They are really doing the darn thing. Oh, up next, darn tootin'. Womp. Oh, it's a battle royal for the women's title. Let me see. Are they both called World World Tag Team Championships? 
Hmm. Anywho, Sarah's. Hello, EW1. Everybody, go check out EW1 underscore kicks on YouTube. They are awesome. They are a sneaker channel, so check them out. Check them out right now. He's going to talk on the mic. I love hearing Solo talk. First of all, his voice is so soothing. And I think it's because we never hear him talk. So whenever we do hear him talk, it's like refreshing. I don't know. But I I fear he's going to be talking more often. So I don't know. I'm ready for it. I don't know what he's going to talk about. I know Tamatanga. He's probably going to call out Kevin Owens maybe. And then Tamatanga is going to come out and like, I don't know, attack him from behind. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm very intrigued. Like, everybody is saying, oh, the bloodline is falling off. They can always make me love the bloodline with one good storyline. Like, this, the, the bloodline has been going on for years now, and I'm still intrigued. They still find a way to make us interested in this group of men. Of, of, of Obviously, they're family, so I, I guess they have that, but like, it's still like a faction, you know? And th- other than the New Day, they're like, the New Day have been together for what, 10 years? Nine years? Eight years? I don't know. But the bloodline is just killing it. Like, they always come up with a new, fresh storyline, and I love it. Let me look up what's happening with Jacob Patu. I'm sorry. I'm very excited to see his debut. Um, is it like official that he signed with WWE? He's got seven children. When Lance said that in the interview, Tamlas and Tony interviewed Lance on OIE. If you guys don't go go back into the channel and watch it. But when he said that Jacob has seven kids, I was like, what? What? I was being bo- I was baffled. It, it was insane. Like the the bloodline is never gone. They're never leaving. They're going nowhere. Like the Samoan Dynasty is here to stay. Um. Okay. Let's look up news. Rare footage shows Jacob Patu being restrained by Brother Zilla from alleged brawl at WWE show. What? What? After cutting ties with MLW earlier this year, Fatu has been searching his path in a high flying creation. Um. Oh, that was from Royal Rumble. Who cares? So they did sign him? I'm very lost. Oh, he's talking. Shut up. Paul Heyman is talking. I forgot. I I didn't hear what he said. We want Roman chance. First it was we want Cody and now you want Roman. Make up your mind, WWE Universe. My gosh. You guys are so (laughs) wishy-washy. I want Roman too. (laughs) Paul, I don't even know if you could call yourself the wise man anymore because you're not in the loop. You don't know anything that's going. <laughs> Bolo snatched the mic from Paul. Paul, resign right now. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead because you're going to get knocked out so quick by Solo Sokoa. That is hilarious. Solo is not taking any. Not like he is. 
doing his own thing. Uh, don't y'all boo solo. Come on. Oh, he's got the little tweaks like Roman. He said, don't boo me. He's talking to himself like Roman. If y'all don't stop booing my boy solo. Wow. The disrespect. The disrespect they're showing Solo right now. Tamatonga. Okay. What the heck? It looks like Tama found Kevin Owens and he's bleeding. Tamatonga attacked Kevin Owens and 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 there's blood. Blood falling down from the side of his face. I am disgusted. I am appalled. I am intrigued. I am... I don't know what I am anymore. What in the world? This man... He nearly murdered him. He's bleeding from the head. Oh my gosh, I'm getting chills. I feel like the rock. What is happening right now? Literally, what is happening right now? Oh. Oh, Tom and Tonka's putting up the one. We're still doing that? Okay. Okay. Solo! I love you! I don't know what's going on. I don't know how Roman feels about this. But I love you right now. <laughs> Look at Paul. Paul is like the odd man out. Kevin Owens is fighting back. What the heck? Are you insane? Oh, 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 nor. Oh, nor. Come on, Solo. Someone would spike him. Oh, my gosh. I'm cheering for the bad guys again. Oh. Wow. Kevin Owens came stumbling down that ramp. That was a big mistake, kid. Big mistake. Oh, no. Kevin's got his hands on Tama. Wow. Wow. Oh, Samoans. He snuck that spike in. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Gross. Oh, Tama Tonka's taking out security. Security. The headbutts. What is happening right now, guys? I am concerned. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kevin, have you no friends? Have you no backup? Tomatanka's got a steel chair. In front of your boss is crazy. You you're you're doing all this in front of your boss. I love this. I love every the way I leaned in, like I'm so into this right now. Paul Heyman is so out of the loop. It's like all of the people that he's close to and like you, you suck chance. All the people that he's close to and like brought him in. Like this is the new the new group of people. He feels like the outsider. Like Roman is gone, Jay is gone, Jimmy is gone, Rock is gone. And it's it's just Paul. And he's following around these youngsters that are just doing whatever the heck they want. Gosh. I 
I would be just as scared as you are, uh, Paul Heyman. Just as scared. If not, more. He's shaking with fear. This is some good stuff. This is some good stuff. I'm waiting for Jacob. I'm like, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this man to show up. Like, I'm stoked. Um, speaking of Jacob, I was researching what his status was, and I don't even know. Everyone is saying, like, reportedly, Jacob Fatu has told people he signed with WWE. Jacob, are you spilling the beans when you're not supposed to? According to FIFA Select, Jacob Fatu has been telling people he has signed with the company. However, sources within WWE have not confirmed the news, and Jacob has not responded to requests for comment. Well, Jacob, how are you going to tell people? How are you going to tell people that you're signed with the company and then not respond to the freaking comments of you saying that you like what? Jacob, don't go spilling the beans when you're not supposed to spill the beans, okay? Because now you got my hopes up, and now I don't even know if you're Are you in or are you out? Is he in? Is he signed? Because now he's got my hopes up, and I'm looking forward to his debut, obviously. But, like, is it going to happen? I'm so excited. I don't know. I'm stoked right now. This is an amazing SmackDown. <laughs> and it's all the good. The Bloodline, once again, have taken over SmackDown have taken over on Friday nights. I'm so happy right now. Solo on and Tamatanga, I'm I'm scared. I'm shaking in my boots. I feel like Jacob Fatu would fit very well in that group. Um I hope he has the WWE mentality. He's been on the indie scene for quite some time, but WWE is very strict. It's very clean cut. It's very uh professional i guess so i hope jacob i don't think he watches the channel but jacob if you're watching the channel i'm very excited and you got to come with that with that wwe mentality you're in the big leagues now you're in the big leagues now slumber sam usos versus tamatanga and solo sokoa i can see it i can really see it I can I'm I'm excited for Usos to get back together because in an interview, Jay Uso was like he's his door is always open. And this is a recent interview. He was like his door is always open, but this is before obviously Jimmy, I meant Jim, yeah, Jimmy got turned on. But he was like, My door is always open for my brother to come back to me. And now that the bloodline has turned, but it's not really the bloodline, like this is this is like a different iteration of the bloodline because Roman, I feel, is not signing off on all these decisions. And then when he comes back, I feel like Solo is going to try to kick Roman out of his own. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman with Nick Aldis. What happened? The heck? Someone crashed a car? Oh. Tomatonka crashed into Kevin Owens' car. <laughs> Nick Aldis. Paul Heyman doesn't know anything that's going on between them, okay? Oh my gosh. Are they splitting up the bloodline? What is happening? He brought up the draft. Losing isn't the only thing that has consequences. Are you splitting up the bloodline? Hi. 
I I agree. Roman is going to be face because he's going to come back and Solo's going to be wrecking shop and running everything. And he's going to be like, what the heck are you doing? And then Solo is going to be like the new Roman. Look at Selena. I forgot she's got tattoos all over her legs. Look at our beautiful girl. Killing the wig, obviously. I'm not sh too sure about her being with Carlito. I'm not a Carlito fan because he snitched. Well, I don't think he snitched on my boy Santos, but he accused. The tattoos are popping out. She always comes out with, like, the looks. I love her. I love that woman. Oh, my phone is literally about to die. Zelina Vega. So pretty. Sorry. I got to get my content in too. So we have Carlito versus Santos Escobar. I don't know why this match is happening. <laughs> okay, let me turn my phone off. Before it dies. How do you whistle like that? <laughs> oh, yeah, Dragon Lake got attacked. Who cares? Oh my gosh, you know what movie I want to watch? Superstar. Have you guys seen that movie with Shannon Black? Is that Shannon Black? Is that her name? Oh, Molly Shannon. <laughs> what is it on? Ooh, Pluto TV. Clone Force. This is going to get Sammy involved and back with Roman and Usos together. The fact Tamatanga attacked Kevin Owens. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Let's try to break this down, okay? So, obviously, we're getting the Usos back together. Jimmy and Jay, Roman. Okay, we got, and, and, and then on the other side, we got Tama, Solo, Jacob, Fatu, Jacob, Fatu, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, it's three on three i feel like we got to get sammy and kevin but that's five on the side and it's three so we need two more on solo side unless we just do like the three on three or lance and zilla no i'm kidding that'd be sick though lance anawaii and zilla fatu come on come on lance zilla jacob solo tama that team is lethal, okay? Lethal. But I don't know if that's going to happen. So for now, I'm going to just stick with the... Mm. Mm, but the draft is coming up. The draft is going to shake everything up. It's going to change all the plans. Like, everything we have planned right now might get, might get all twisted up. I don't know. I don't know. We really, I feel like we just got to wait till the draft is over, you know? Hopefully, Jacob. Hopefully, Jacob fought you. Lance and Zilla and Jacob with Solo and Rock. Oh, yes, the Rock! Okay, clone. Clone force. I love you right now. Okay. Lance, Zilla, Jacob, Solo, Rock. Tama. Wait, no, that's six people. No, we have too many on that side. And then the Tonka Brothers. Free agent by the end of June. Uh, why we got so many people? Hold on. 
okay we need to divide and conquer people okay i don't think i'm not putting lance and zilla in the mix right now because are you are you talking in your sleep okay big bucks bobby is talking to me right now from the side but i'm only saying that because jacob fatu is the only one that has been reported to be signed with wwe right now obviously i would want zilla lance jacob solo tama that'd be the that'd be the group right there and then the other side would be sammy kevin Ra- um not rock roman and the usos but Lance and Zilla, I don't know. Like, I don't even know if WWE wants them right now. I would take them. But I don't know what their status is. Yeah, Zilla just got into it. That's my thing. But he's so hot. And he's been training. He's been um, with um, Reality of Wrestling over with Booker T. And he's doing a lot of great stuff. So I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. We'll see. I feel like we're getting ahead of ourselves right now. Like, uh, once again, we are, we are, what's the word? We're into the bloodline again. It was basically what I'm trying to say, which is really good. Good for them. Not good for us because my brain is going in a lot of different directions. So many possibilities. And I'm not putting The Rock in that mix right now either because he's filming. So, and then he said he's coming back for Cody. So, I don't know if he's going to be mixed into that. Obviously, he's going to acknowledge a bloodline and everything, but he's coming back for for Cody. Merck. Oh, my gosh. I've seen that name somewhere, too. Hold on. Oh darn it! Hold, um, Hick. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to say the name, but I've seen that name. Okay. Let's see. Wait, he looks very familiar. Huh. He looks. Mm. Was he in AW? Or. I don't know. He looks very familiar. No, but I think they try to keep people on this on the right shows for the few few weeks at least, and then everybody starts going crazy. Maybe, maybe you guys are have some great ideas in this chat right now. All right, we are shying away from the bloodline really quickly. I don't know if they're if they're gonna come back out tonight, but. Carlito versus Santos Escobar. New Japan. That's where he's from. That's he probably did the sh- like one or two AEW shows. This is why I've, um why I've seen him because I don't watch New Japan. But yeah, Bullet Club. He was. I saw a lot of pictures of him with the Bullet Bullet Club. What's May sixth? What's May 6th, everybody? Oh, Raw? What? Electra Lopez trying to distract the ref, and here comes Elena Vega standing on business, as the kids like to say. Oh, never mind. She just got thrown into the barricade. Kind of. (laughs) It's 9.30. We should be going into the main event right now. (laughs) 
Escobar with the pin. One, two. Yay! Santos wins! Yay. I don't know what that match was for, but it was pretty good. I wasn't really paying attention, though. Kayla Braxton up in the luxury box with damage control. They need to get those tag titles off of Kabuki Warriors. I forgot they even were champions. Forma? Yeah, Bailey is the new champ. <laughs> Damage control is not the most dominant force in WWE. You're insane. And everyone keeps forgetting that they're champion. Here comes ba or Jade. Jade Cargill. What are you doing here? What a pleasant surprise. Oh, Jade and Bianca and the other on oh they're in the box right next to damage control. <laughs> yeah, they're taking those titles at Backlash. Jade and Bianca are taking those titles from Kabuki Warriors at Backlash. No questions asked. Here comes Naomi. O. M. I. Time for the main event, guys. I'm making so insane. I love her new song. Make them go insane. Go, 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 go. I love it. Cody is not beating Rock. We will see. We will see. What does the Rock need a win in WWE for? <clears throat> and make the phone insane. I'm jamming. I love it. It's such a party. It's such a party. What, what's the word? She's trying to start like a new crowd movement. I'll do it. Go. 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 Okay. Well, guys, it's main event time already. Who'd have thunk it? I feel like we have been here for a while, but I also kind of feel like when I think about it, it kind of breathes past. I don't know. but. I have been very into this episode of SmackDown. Like, we got a new Bloodline era going on right now. We have new tag titles, um, new world tag titles. We got a... Uh... What else did we see today? I'm just sold on Solo. Solo Sokoa taking everything over is, like, gold. Um, we have our first match... For backlash, Cody Rhodes going against AJ Styles at um in France. Um, we have A Town Down Under going against Street Profits for those titles. There wasn't really a lot happening tonight. Mm. Carlito and Santos Escobar. I don't know what that was for, but it happened. Kevin Owens got brutally attacked. Even if the title wasn't on the line, I still don't think Rock is winning. I don't know. I feel like the Rock just being there is enough. You know? I don't know. I'm interested to see 
what happens when Roman comes back. I feel like Roman has to come back soon, right? To like address everything that's going on. But I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. I don't know. I don't know anything that's happening right now. I'm just going along for the ride. Like, I I, I keep saying that I'm not going to make any predictions, but it's hard not to predict what's going on. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I have so many ideas running in my mind. Um, yeah, very excited to see what happens when Rock and Roman come back. And when Jacob Fatu, Jacob needs to hurry up and get here already, okay? Let me call him up. Call Jacob Fatu, if only. <laughs> um, yeah, this main event, Jasmine, if you guys don't know, Jasmine, she's in the chat. She's my sister, my wonderful sister, Jasmine. Um, she said earlier tonight that Trish, Trish, Tiffany Stratton might get involved in this match. And I second that. Also, Damage Control and Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair are all watching from the rich people section in the suites. <laughs> and I'm hmm. I'm excited to see where this match goes. Obviously, Naomi's not taking that title away from um, Bailey, but <clears throat> we'll see. <clears throat> They're in standing room only. 14,994 people. Wow. I wonder, is it is it a guy holding a camera up there? Or is it like a drone? Like, what is happening? How are they getting these shots? I went this whole show without a cold drink. Isn't that something? WWE is selling out so good. Do you think they can sell out stadiums for Raw and Smack? They have been selling out oh, stadiums. Like, oh, earlier tonight in London, Cody Rhodes. Cody, what are you saying right now? They just wanted Cody on the screen for SmackDown. Like, he's just yapping. Is he going to bring up the fact that AJ went against Dusty? Oh, he did not bring it up. Okay, they just want to they just wanted Cody on the screen <laughs> for SmackDown. Contract signing next week. I'm stoked for this match. This is the first time. I'm hello, Anthony Blackwell. Everybody go subscribe to Anthony Blackwell Jr. on YouTube. Obviously, it's that same name, Anthony Blackwell Jr. But anyway, this is their first match. And I'm like, um, Oh, look at that. A two-night extravaganza begins next Friday. SmackDown, Raw, and NXT. I know that's a given, but... um, What was I saying? Yeah, first time. This is going to be an amazing match. Oh, I'm so excited. Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles. Goodness gracious. My oh my.
Go, 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 go. Naomi and Bailey, very good friends. This is going to be friendly fire. I mean, not friendly, um, friendly competition. I forgot Bailey had new music. I don't know how I like it. Why does she go with like an Egyptian? Is it Egyptian? Like, is that offensive to say? Lindsay? Nice. <laughs> I know Naomi is looking at Bailey with such pride, like she's so proud of her. With that title around her waist. I'm going to say that Bailey has purple in her hair for Judgment Day. I don't care if that's the real reason or not. That's what I'm running with. <laughs> Someone has a hugger section sign. If you don't rip that up and throw it in the trash. Damage Control, Jade Cargill, and Bianca Belair are all watching from the suites. They better not. I swear. I said it on my stories. It better be a package deal. Judgment Day better be a package deal. I'm so serious. If they break up my Judgment Day, I'm wrecking shop. I'm going insane. Like, seriously. He kind of does look like Johnny Bravo, right? Is it Johnny Bravo? Is that the name? Yeah, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> I hope she doesn't. I hated that. It was too much, too much positivity. There's no way that she's that happy. It was giving JoJo Siwa vibes. You guys know JoJo Siwa? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Hard pass. <laughs> Ring the bell. <sighs> Fifteen minutes left in the show, Wade. Fifteen. Was it a QR code? There was a QR code, but I didn't scan it. And apparently no one in the chat scanned it either because no one said anything about it. But there was a QR code and a glitch um, very early on in the show. I believe that. I don't know about Triple Threat, though. If she interrupts a match and um, it causes disqualification, then I think maybe it could be a, a Triple Threat. But if Bailey wins and then Tiffany comes out, or if Tiffany comes out, but Bailey still wins, it might just be Bailey versus Tiffany. Tiffany has an epiphany. Naomi won't beat Bailey. You know, Mir, our brother, um, my brother, uh, what's it, Anthony, Tana Loves and Tony's son. He used to freestyle rap and he would always say Tiffany something epiphany. He was like, Tiffany had a, an epiphany, something like that. That was his go-to freestyle line. It was awful. A lot of reverse is going on in this match right now. Oh, double cross body. I was supposed to call it high cross body. High cross bodies is from the top rope, right? 
and then if it's just on the mat it's like it's just a crossbody Drop kick onto Bailey. Kip up by Naomi. Bulldog onto Bailey. One, two, Tori. Naomi, you're calling it too loud. <laughs> Rear view. One, two. Why are you going for the pin so many times, Naomi? Jeez, get her down first. <laughs> well. As soon as you think you're over the bloodline, they pull you back in. I'm telling you guys, all you need is a good... Like, they can... They can make the bloodline interesting for the years to come there are so many members in the bloodline and they have made so many enemies and and they've turned on each other so many times like there, it, there's so many people that can join the bloodline like it's a never-ending storyline like you could there's you, it could go on forever if you do it right kenny you hit it on the nose. They don't need a title. They do not need a title. Right now, I'm not even looking at any of them chasing the title at this point. Like, it's just the family drama. It's the drama that's getting me intrigued, okay? If they throw a title in there, that's even better. But right now, I am enjoying every last bit of this storyline. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Go tell your mother. Go tell your ma or how do the country was like your mama? Go tell your or uh ma <laughs> mom pa. Bloodline can go on forever because they only wrap up storylines once a year. So we have like five dream matches. So that's five years of stories. <laughs> listen. Listen. If they can hold a story for a year, like, and keep me interested, why? Who cares if there's, o if there's only one match? Like, there's, there'll be small matches, big storyline telling, I mean, big storytelling throughout the whole year. And then the big match to come to a close. And then they open and then they like transition to another one. It's the perfect. Well, I wouldn't say perfect. I would like a, a lot more wrestling, but they have a pattern and it's not terrible. Where's, well, he is off today because as you may know, his knee is not in good condition. So he's, he's. <laughs> I I would like to see Jacob Fatu side with Solo and, and, and Tama Tonga and this might be a little biased but I'd like to see Lance on YE and Zilla Fatu in there too that, that team Zilla Lance, Jacob Solo Tama Tonga be so for real they're taking over and then on the other side, we got Roman, Kevin, Sammy, and the Usos. Come on. Come on. It sounds perfect, but WWE is going to make it something completely different. And then we're going to fall in love with whatever they come up with. So I'm not, like, building my hopes up for anything. SmackDown is really good tonight. <laughs> Tell everyone about the great podcast he was doing on. He was just on doing an interview. Oh, guys. Tanelas and Tony got interviewed by the one and only Anthony Blackwell Jr. 
on the Anthony Blackwell Jr. show. Well, it's not called that. It's called Anthony Blackwell Jr. on YouTube. You guys should definitely go check it out. Um, I'll put the link in there after this because I'm trying to watch the match. But y'all, they were on there for a while. <laughs> and he was, it, it was a good interview. Just go check it out, guys. Por favor. Did you hear what happened? People are... Mm -mm. I don't think Zilla's ready either. But they might try to rush him in there. They rushed Jade in there. So. They rushed... Um, they rushed um, Solo Sokoa up from NXT. So. You never know what they're going to do. I did see the new tag titles, and I compared them to the old ones. I'm sick and tired of bringing this up because it's heavy. But I, it's upside down. I compared them to, to these. Like, they look just like these. Like, they, and they changed it to the world tag team titles again. So this is, yes, look, see? I know my stuff. As soon as I saw that, I was like, that is the old school design. Rewind the tape. Bailey's going up. We an elbow into the middle of the ring. My gosh, that was a far. That was a far fly. Yeah, they're bringing back a lot of old school aspects. And like doing a little modern twist on them. I like it. I like the SmackDown um, titles better than the Raw ones. But they both look really good. So now all the titles have a have been revamped for this new era. I still think the IC in the US are fairly new designs. I like the IC title. Bailey in some, I mean, yeah, in some kind of submission. If you don't reach the ropes or something. Double elbow, forearm. Hit me. I would be cracking up, like. Don't talk to me while we're freaking fighting. I'd start dying laughing. Especially knowing that we're friends. No, I cannot talk to you. Back and forth. Oh my gosh. Naomi with the knee to the face of Bailey, knocking her out of the ring. Springboard? No, kind of. Count to five. Oh, Bailey to belly on the announce table. Get in the ring, girl. Seven, eight, Tiffany Stratton, disqualification. Okay, uh, now I think it might be a triple threat. It's Tiffy time. Oh my gosh, she's attacking Naomi. You're attacking the wrong person, girl. Wow. Wow. Okay, whoever said triple threat in the chat, you might be right. Tiffany, Bailey, Naomi at Backlash. Maybe. Or they might just do Tiffany and Naomi. And whoever wins that goes against Ray uh, Bailey at Backlash. It's Tiffany. Her voice is naturally annoying. 
She's going to do a double pretty moonsault. Wow. Wow. What did I say? She said, I'll take my earrings off. Damage control is loving this. Jade and Bianca are debating going against I mean, going down there. Wow. Wow. She does hit that moonsault perfectly every time. Well, at least every time I've seen her do it. She has a new thing. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what she did, but it's very on brand for her. Well, then, what a show! What a show! And then, <clears throat> people, people of the nation, of tantalization, I am glad you guys are here. 83 people in the chat. We've had a significant amount of people in the chat all night. Thank you guys for being here. Um, even though Tina and Tony was not here, I had to take one for the team. But I'm so glad because... Um, sorry, I'm watching the news. What is going on? Um, I'm so glad because the SmackDown was so good. We started off with LA Knight versus AJ Styles. AJ Styles won, which means he's going against Cody Rhodes for the title at Backlash. And then... And then what, Kara? And then what? We saw Solo Sokoa coming out of the Roman SUV, um, looking dapper as ever. Tomatonga sneaking up behind Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is still confused. Then we got Nick Aldis and Triple H out here to present A Town Down Under with the new titles, the new tag team titles, the new world tag team titles. Um, and they look killer. They look awesome. Then we transition to the Fatal 4-Way for that, for those titles. Street Profits won. Um, so they're going against A Town Down Under, I don't know when, probably Backlash. Most likely. Uh, what happened after that? Then Solo Sokoa was looking for Kevin Owens, but he need look no further. Because here comes Tomatonga strutting down the ramp with a bloodied up Kevin Owens. Kevin tried to fight back. Obviously couldn't do it because it was 2v1. And uh, Paul Heyman's very concerned because he doesn't think that Roman is going to like what Solo is doing, what Solo and Tom are doing. But they're like, couldn't care less. So um, Roman's not here. He lost the title. It's time for us to take over. Um, and then we got Santos versus Carlito. Santos won. And then we headed into the main event where we had damage control um, and Bianca and Jade watching from the suites. And then uh, we had, obviously, Naomi and then and, uh, Bailey for the title. Here comes Tiffy time to cause disqualification for the match. Obviously, Bailey is still champ. And everyone's speculating that we're going to get a triple threat. Tiffy, Naomi, and Bailey at Backlash. Um, I'm very intrigued. And I'm pretty sure Naomi, I'm Naomi and Naomi, Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair are taking those tag titles off of Kabuki Warriors. There's no doubt about it. But I'm just intrigued and ready to see what happens next with the bloodline because Solo Sokoa, I don't know when Roman is coming back, but oh, I'm ready for this whole story to unfold. But yeah, love the new Solo. He's talking. It's very good. 
It was a very good show. Solid nine out of 10. There was nothing bad about tonight. I mean, the Carlito versus Santos match was a little confusing because it was like, what, what is that happening for? But it was still a good match. So nine out of 10. I loved tonight's show. And then next week. Do we start the draft next week or in two weeks? I can't remember. But yeah, we're starting the draft soon. I'm very excited. Um, I I don't I don't mind the DQs. <clears throat> I'm getting family turning on family. We've seen that way too many times in WWE need to do this to make tag team partners say this. I'm enjoying what's happening with the bloodline right now. I don't care if we've seen this a hundred times before. I feel like they're putting a new spin on it. I'm I'm into it. I like it. I love it. Tell your dad for me. Hope he feels better with the knee injury. Thank you. I will relay all of the wishes, well wishes from you guys to him. Thank you, Max. Hey, Julie. I'm sad to see that you're here at the end of the show, but thank you for coming in anyway. It was a good show until they decided to put what happened to Rhea. Exactly. Why the heck? What was the point of doing that? Literally about to make me cry all over again. I'm never going to stop talking about it. People are going to get sick of me. They're like, oh my gosh, she's out. Like, stop talking about it. Just let her heal. No, I'm sad and I'm mad and I'm upset and I want mommy. Okay. Thank you, Steven. Did you hear Roman is good? I mean, Roman's going good when he returned. What did you? I did hear. I, I heard like speculations like everybody wants him to be he um face but i don't know i want him to be face too i did not hear that let me see hmm. he'll be a free agent in 90 days wow Hmm. Good for him, I guess. Hopefully he goes on to bigger and better things. Roman, I saw Roman. Kiki Palmer posted something. I don't know what that picture was, but he's like sitting on a throne with a bunch of girls around him. I don't know what that was about, but <laughs> he's doing something, something. No. I I I will because she's rubbing it in everybody's faces. So I will blame Liv. And Zaylee? Wow. I mean, they're not being used. So. And Zion Quinn, too. I mean, if you're not being used and you actually love wrestling and you want to wrestle and you're not wrestling and like that's your passion, do what you got to do. Yeah. I see. Okay. Um, all right. I'm getting out of here. I've been here way too long. Sorry. Not sorry. I've been here five minutes too long. <laughs> but thank you guys for coming into the show tonight. Tana Les and Tony, send your well wishes. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys on Monday. Tomorrow we're going to BPW. So look out for some content from there. Put on your post notifications. All that good stuff. And I think that's all. Make sure you guys hug your families, kiss your families, tell me you love them, pray to God every day because you're not promised tomorrow. And as always, do what we all do best. And that's stay tantalizing.